Morning, this week's all about fertilizer. Behind me is the FGS uh, self-propelled digestate spreader. They're spreading out of 24 meters and uh, into winter wheat. So this week we've been spreading normal fertilizer, digestate and compost. This digestate comes from food waste that is processed in an anaerobic digester. Biogas is given off, uh, which can be used for uh, burnt through a combined heat and power plant used to generate electricity. And uh, we, we have one locally in Aylesbury in Arla and uh, one on the other side of Aylesbury at West, uh, Westcott Bench Park. And uh, so we have a storage lagoon here and that's where this digestate is coming from. We're spreading at about 25 uh, meter cubed per hectare and they're here to do 50 hectare block of wheat. And as he starts, that's his support vehicle bringing him digestate. And to put it into perspective, it doesn't look that much on the ground. But it does our crops a world of good. One of the issues with digestate is getting the liquid to the spreader. At one tonne per meter cubed, it's 25 tonnes per hectare or 1250 tonnes over our 50 hectares. FGS have four tankers to keep the spreader going. They run up and down our field tram lines. This is made possible because we're on RTK and don't move our tram lines and because direct drilling helps keep the ground firm. But as you can see, it's still hard on tram lines and farm tracks. I haven't got footage of Pip spreading, but here he's filling up with urea for our second fertilizer application. Urea is an oil-based fertilizer and this spreader takes three tons of urea equal to nearly 1,400 kilos of nitrogen. This amount of nitrogen would require 46 tons of digestate or compost. So one of the jobs we're doing whilst it's so dry is just mucking out our turkey shed. We cleaned it all out uh, with a mini digger earlier in the year so we scraped it all up away from the walls and stuff like that but we're just mucking it out today so it'll be lifted out with the JCB into our push trailer which is outside see if I can climb up here push trailers parked outside Because turkey litter is so dry, this muck will be stored outside for a year before being spread. We have also been applying compost to our winter wheat at 20 tonnes per hectare. Per hectare this contains 150 kilos of total nitrogen, but unfortunately only 8 kilos is available this year. But 3% of the balance will be available each year in the future, effectively providing a nitrogen bank account. So, for this year, 8 kilos is only about 3% of the crop's annual requirement of 230 kilos. So, we're using artificial fertilizer and intercrop clover to provide the rest.
Morning everybody, uh, we're back out with the Kuhn Aero just trying to blow some uh, yellow trefoil and white clover as a intercrop. We are hoping that the clover, if it receives enough moisture to germinate, will be able to provide another 60 kilos of nitrogen.